USF baseball took a surprise trip to Yankee Stadium. Felt like home to pitcher Peter Streslecki. Grew up going to the stadium with his dad, Kevin. This, though, was the first visit since his dad died. So Peter walked baseball's cathedral, constantly looking up, smiling. He said, quote, that's all I could do, when in fact Peter has done so much more to honor his father. He did everything, he sacrificed everything uh, for us to make it that far. So. Peter Streslecki was getting ready for USF's practice when he received the news. His dad, Kevin, died of a heart attack. He was 52 years old. Peter's initial reaction wasn't to call his mom. Instead, he was compelled to take the field to practice for his dad. That's how my dad was. You know, he never wanted me to miss a game or practice for anything. He was he was my biggest fan. Uh, I called him every day, talk about baseball, life. So this whole process, I've just been trying to do like what he'd want me to do. So while organizing the funeral, grieving with his mom, two brothers and sister, Peter continued to pitch. At first I was just like, you know, I don't know if I'll be back for the season. You know, I don't know if I'll, you know, there's so many thoughts going on. And then, uh, you know, I got home. And, you know, I sat, talked to my family and, you know, tried to think, like I said, what my dad wanted me to do and never would want me to miss a start. A day before burying his father, Peter took the mound against Houston. I tried to come out here and do it. And, you know, just the emotions, the no sleep, lack of food, it all caught up to me in that second inning and it just, it all hit me. His night was over after just an inning and two thirds. More important than Peter's stat line was the embrace with his teammates. Just a lot of hugs and a lot of, you know, emotion. Like, you know, a lot of guys, you know, you would have thought they, their father passed away. You know, it just, it, I'm not saying our team wasn't close before, but it, the, the way it brought us together was unbelievable. Following Kevin's funeral, Peter rejoined USF on the diamond. And along the way, subtle signs of his father. The second game back, where, you know, the, uh, at home against ECU, I was wearing the number two, and uh, one of our coaches said Peter Jeter. And I lost it a little bit because that's what my dad used to call me. Peter threw a gem in his return, 10 strikeouts and a win over ECU. A week later, another brilliant performance, complete game shutout at UConn. Like a lot of guys actually on the team and saying he's been with us, you know, um, giving us that extra strength and that extra will, you know, especially, you know, it's a long season. You get tired towards the end a little bit, body wears down. But yeah, I could look back and just say, you know, it's been a, a heck of a ride. One that Peter hopes ends with his dad's wish, a son in the big leagues. We're gonna to try to finish as strong as we can and just know that my dad's with us and we're just gonna keep making memories here and, and breaking history. Remarkable perseverance. Now Strzelecki with a chance at more history today. A win at USF and the Bulls clinched the AAC regular season championship. Since his dad's funeral, USF has won both of Strzelecki's starts, two straight AAC Pitcher of the Week awards. But Strzelecki did not have his best stuff in Orlando today against the Knights. Serves up the two-run double here. Three runs overall. USF does lose 3-2. to two. UCF wins the conference title. But Peter Strzelecki, what a remarkable story. A remarkable young man to show that perseverance and courage yeah. to take the mound the day before he buries his father. And mm -hmm. then three starts since then. It really has bonded that team. So we are pulling for them. Season not over. They're headed to the NCAA tournament. And I was going to say my favorite part was when he said, uh, 